It may not look like it at first glance, but London's underground has been getting arty. I'm getting off at Seven Sisters Station. We're 10 kilometres away here from the heart of London, and this area feels very different. It's an area that saw a lot of shops shut between the 1970s and the early noughties. But in 2012, the council started a regeneration. And part of that regeneration is an art project that's just outside the station here. Hi, Kira. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm going to let you lead on. So this project started almost as a mini regeneration project because this area has not had a lot of love. It's a little bit um, rough around the edges, um, which is what gives it great character. But they kind of wanted to think about how we might be able to bring some joy to the area. This kiosk at the entrance to the underground station had fallen into disuse. Now, under the auspices of organisation Art on the Underground, it's been turned into an artwork called Clay Station. So Art on the Underground commissions artists to make artworks for the London Underground Network. And that means that we use the underground and, and the kind of fabric of the city as our canvas, if you like. For Seven Sisters, Art on the Underground commissioned the Turner Prize winning collective Assemble to transform this unloved building. Over three years, two members of Assemble worked as artists in residence, getting to know the station staff and the area. I mean, we started looking at this site, this entrance to Seven Sisters Station, and it's um, got quite a reputation for being particularly bad in terms of antisocial behaviour. So we were interested in concentrating on this, this particular um, spot to, to do something to try and um, show a level of care. I guess we were interested in looking at ceramics and uh, tiles because of its rich history in the underground. Across London, um, across the sort of civic spaces and bits of London infrastructure, ceramic has a kind of association with that, I guess, because it's both very hard wearing and practical, but also opportunities for it to be very decorative. Assemble's members are architects, so they approached ceramicist Matthew Raw about a collaboration for this project. Uh, I received an email from Assemble, I can't remember who it was, um, asking if I would come in and do a one day tile workshop. But then one day became two days, and two days became three days, and we were getting uh, some really interesting results, and we just kept going. Uh, and I don't know how far down the line of the two years I was involved, it became a collaboration. The, only the second or third exterior project that I've done, um, I mainly make tiles for installation pieces or gallery work, which um, is at different temperatures and, and different effects. So this is the first major exterior project I've done. Together, Raw and the assembled team came up with their own technique. Uh, when we're looking at the kiosk, the blue tiles and the green tiles are made in the same way. They are made by marbling different bodies of clay, so different coloured bodies of clay, whereas the yellow tiles are made using a yellow clay imprinted, embedded with the uh, sections of blue and green and white. This project isn't just about leaving a piece of art at the station, it's also about sharing the creative process. Art on the Underground partnered with a jobs charity to recruit two young local apprentices who were trained in the tile-making technique. One of them is now collaborating with Raw on a new project. I think we wanted to do something that was very playful, um, something that perhaps didn't take itself too seriously and was just a kind of joyful moment at the entrance to the station to kind of brighten up people's day. Playful, yes, but also serving a social function. That's been a mainstay of Assemble's work. The revamped kiosk incorporates new seating areas added by Assemble. Soon, Clay Station will also house a coffee shop, adding another dimension to a project that spans art, education, community and enterprise. Beldonati, T4.
TRT World, London.